Antarctica is definitely the weirdest continent of them all. Way down in the South Pole, this huge landmass is incredibly hostile to life, being almost always unbearably cold even for the hardiest of creatures. But that doesn't mean that nothing's going on down there. In fact, it seems like all kinds of strange stuff has been taking place down in Antarctica that we don't even know about. From the mysterious giant falls to the most macabre waterfall ever, here's the 20 scariest things found in Antarctica. <sighs> Number 20. Huge Holes Hidden in Antarctica in 2017, a huge hole opened up in the ice of Antarctica, and scientists don't know why. Scientists love keeping a close eye in the ice in the Antarctic because it shows us how badly humans are messing up the Earth with global warming. Pretty bad, it turns out. So now this huge hole the size of Lake Superior has opened up a long way from where the ice meets the ocean, and everyone is thinking, uh-oh, scientists terrifying new discovery hidden under Antarctica's ice. The strange behavior of the hole, which is called a Pollyanna, makes it very hard to understand. This isn't the first time it's been seen, though. It was spotted by hole spotters back in the 1970s, but it went away for decades and then came back, which messes up a lot of scientific explanations for why it might be there in the first place. The best guess right now is that warmer salt water from deep under the ice has gotten through the cold layer of fresh water that usually keeps it insulated and warm. this has caused a warm patch, which melted the ice and made a huge hole. It's a pretty straightforward explanation, but it doesn't fully explain why the hole disappeared for 40 years and then came back on its own. So maybe it's just where the devil goes to fish. Even monsters need something to do on the weekends, right? Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. What's really in Antarctica's mysterious blood falls. Blood falls is in Antarctica, but don't freak out. The bright red color comes from an iron oxide tainted water flowing down a glacier, not from some insane snowman sacrifice. It would have been cool to be the first person to ever see this, even if it would have been a little scary to say the least. Here's how it actually works. The salt water mixes with the iron in the bedrock below. Small cracks in the glaciers let this iron rich water out occasionally, leaving blood red streaks of ice around the area. Yep, it's rusty water. This one of a kind place is in Victoria land, East Antarctica, which is one of the harshest places on the planet. Scientists often say that the area looks a lot like Mars. Also, the Blood Falls ecosystem is proof that life can exist even in the most inhospitable places on Earth. Even though it's tempting to make the connection, it doesn't prove that life could exist on other planets with similar environments and frozen bodies of water, like Mars and Jupiter's moon Europa, because life would have to come from a completely different set of events. But it does mean that life could thrive there if it did exist. Number 18. Sea Spiders Sea spiders are marine arthropods that live in all of the seas around the world. They're also hell spawn that are way too lanky for their body size. They're more than 1,300 known species, and their length of their legs ranges from one millimeter to more than 70 centimeters. Most of them are on the smaller end of this range when they live in shallow water. However, the Antarctic and deep seas, they can get really big. Even though sea spiders are neither spiders nor arachnids, they're usually put in the Psyllarates group, which puts them closer to real spiders than to other well-known anthropod groups like insects or crustaceans. But genetic data shows that they are related to other living anthropods, so this is a point of confusion. Most species have eight legs for walking, but some have five or six pairs. You'll find these animals all over the world, from Australia and New Zealand to the Pacific coast of the US, the Mediterranean Sea, the Caribbean Sea, even the North and the South Poles. They like shallow water, but they can be found up to 7,000 meters deep. Most sea spiders are predators or scavengers, and they eat canarians, sponges, polychaetes, and bizoans. Even though they're known to feed by sticking their proboscis into much bigger sea anemones, most sea anemones survive the trauma, making the sea spider a parasite rather than a predator of sea anemones. Imagine what I have in these stuck to you, drinking your blood. Creepy. Number 17. Striped Icebergs 
Antarctica has some of the most beautiful views and strangest animals, but the striped icebergs are one of the most incredible things to see in this winter wonderland. You might think that the colored stripes were made by people performing over some kind of art project, but actually they're caused by different types of water freezing together in the same place. The color of an iceberg is also affected by how it interacts with light. Most of these huge chunks of ice are made from fresh water. The iceberg's white color comes from snowflakes and air bubbles that are frozen inside the glacier ice. The bubbles and snowflakes reflect the light, making the iceberg surface look white and clean. Are you guys getting some major toothpaste commercial vibes too? One layer of fluoride to keep your teeth strong and one layer of mint to keep your breath fresh. The amount of organic matter in these blocks of ice determines what color they are. The beautiful jade color of the iceberg comes from the algae and iron-rich seawater that gets trapped inside. Number 16. Pyramid-shaped mountains. Back in 2016, Google Earth images of Antarctica that look like they show pyramids in the icy landscape were raging all over the internet. From pictures, it looked like there were three pyramids, each with four sides, like the famous ones in Egypt. Could these pyramids really have been built by people from a long time ago? There's many ideas about where the pyramids came from. Some of the more controversial ideas about the pyramids are that they're the remains of an Atlantean civilization that once lived in Antarctica, or that they were built by aliens. Other scientists have suggested that the Antarctica pyramids are made of natural rock. The scientists think that the pyramids may actually be mountain peaks called nanotucks. Nanotucks are the tops of mountains that stick out of the ice and are higher than the land around them. No matter where the snow pyramids came from, the fact that they were found will lead to more questions about whether or not people have lived in Antarctica in ancient times. Anyway, we think it's pretty cool that the walrus people lined up the corners of their pyramid with those rigid lines. The aliens will be super impressed and they'll probably give them the keys to the universe instead of humans now. Number 15. Tunnels almost as tall as the Eiffel Tower. Scientists have found tunnels under thick layers of ice in Antarctica. These tunnels are about as tall as the Eiffel Tower. Radars on planes and satellite photos show that ridges and holes on the ice surface were connected to tunnels at the bottom of the ice layer. This is what made it possible for them to find the tunnels. To figure out what the tunnels under the ice were, specifically made radar equipment was used. The tunnels are 820 feet tall, which is about the same height as the Eiffel Tower, which is 987 feet tall. The group of researchers came to the conclusion that the tunnels were made by water flowing under the ice, over the land, and into the ocean. Another interesting thing to learn from this discovery is that water moved under the ice in narrow channels like rivers. Before this, scientists theorized that meltwater moved under ice layers in thin, even sheets. So did I say walrus people in one of those last ones? I meant giant humanid tunneling mole people, of course. They're the real genius race of the Antarctic. Number 14 a ton of bones. We have the bones of a giant animal that lived 150 million years ago lying around in this desolate place. These are the bones of a plesiosaur, which is the oldest animal ever found in Antarctica. Plesiosaurs had huge bodies up to 39 feet long with four strong flippers and a long snake-like neck. Obviously, this thing looks a ton like the Lake Loch Ness Monster, which is said to live in a lake in Scotland. The plesiosaur family was super big and there was a ton of different species. The bones were found at the far end of the continent where there's many different kinds of fish, ammonites, and bivalves, but no one expected to find such an old plesiosaur. The find is amazing because the rocks at the site weren't thought to be good for keeping ancient bones in good shape. Not all rocks are equal when it comes to fossil preservation. In 1719, an English historian named William Skirtsky wrote about the first time a plesiosaur skeleton was found and people freaked out. Since then, scientists have found a lot more fossils of this huge animal, which has helped them learn more about it. From the time of the dinosaurs in the Jurassic period until the end of the Cretaceous period when they died out, these living giants were a common in sight. It's thought that the last of these creatures died when an asteroid hit the Earth about 66 million years ago. But we all know the very, very, very last one lives in Scotland and we call him Nessie. Number 13. Sea Pigs Sea pigs live in the deep sea, but you probably won't ever see one. As their name suggests, they look like pink little gummy pigs, but they don't have eyes, have a lot more legs than pigs, and are almost completely translucent. The elusive sea creatures are also called echnoderms. Sea urchins and starfish are also echnoderms, for example. 
Even though sea pigs are secretive and strange, they deserve a ton of praise for how important they are to the ocean ecosystem. Ocean Conservancy says that their small, fragile bodies would turn into a pile of floppy jello if they were brought within 4,000 feet of the surface of the water. If they get caught in a fishing trawler, they usually just disintegrate. Poor little dudes. There are so many sea pigs out there because there aren't many animals that eat them. I guess they don't taste like bacon, but also because their skin is poisonous. The dangerous chemicals in their skin are called holothurins, and different kinds of sea cucumbers use them for defense. Number 12. UFO. Antarctica isn't like anywhere else on Earth. It's empty, cold, and it looks like it could be another planet, so it makes sense that if a UFO wanted to land on Earth without being found, it might park there. As it turns out, some people think they might have. When looking at satellite maps of the continent, a researcher found what they say is a UFO. They sent the information to a UFO expert who put it in a video and said that the melting polar ice caps probably made the object visible. He says that the ship is a 60-foot wide metal disc that looks like it was intelligently designed. He points to the space below the object and says that it looks like a shadow. He also says that the top of the structure looks like an elevated circle, as it's gotten so much attention that the History Channel put a spotlight of it on a YouTube video. Skeptics, on the other hand, don't agree, and one of them said there's only a small pool of water there. If you look at the other things in the area, you'll see that the other bodies of water have the same color. So the jury's out. Aliens or not aliens? What do you think? Number 11. Mott and Bailey Castle Satellites have shown that there might be a Mott and Bailey Castle in Antarctica's ice cap, which is kind of random and strangely specific. What, like, is a shell keep castle not good enough for penguins? The image shows a structure in Antarctica that could look like a castle and is about 400 feet wide. Could have been made by people in the deepest parts of Antarctica. People may have lived in the polar region for a long time before it was found in the 1800s. People may have gotten used to living there in the early 1500s. Can you imagine how chapped your hands would be after building a castle there for a whole day? And who would want to invade anyway? Trust me, you guys don't need to worry about that. Some people think that the building might not have been made by people, but just by wind and snow. Scientists may have found something they call a sastruga in nature. A sastruga builds structures based on the direction and strength of the winds. But they don't usually look like the oval shape seen on the satellite image. We need to do more research before we can say for sure when people first lived in this frozen place though. Number 10. Jade Green Icebergs Antarctic researchers have come up with a new idea that could explain why some icebergs are green. Icebergs are usually white or blue, but sailors and explorers have seen beautiful jade and emerald green icebergs in some part of the Southern Ocean since the early 1900s. Ice samples from under the Amory Ice Shelf were tested, and the results show that iron oxides in the seawater are probably to blame for these rare frozen curiosities. The iceberg's unique color comes from the yellow iron oxide in the seawater, melting with the clear blue of the ice to make a jade green color. Most of the Antarctic icebergs that people see are made of glacial ice, which is made of fresh water from snow that falls on the Antarctic Plateau and gets packed down over thousands of years. When mineral-rich seawater freezes in layers on the underside of an ice shelf, it eventually breaks off and floats away. This is how jade icebergs are made. Number 9. Eerie Sounds Scientists have been using special tools to find strange sounds at the bottom of the world, and they've discovered that Antarctica is making a literally terrifying moaning sound. The new study says that the noise is caused by the wind blowing across snow dunes and making the ice shake, but it sounds like John Carpenter samples and it could fit right in with the music from The Thing. Because of climate change, warmer ocean and air temperatures have made the ice shelves in Antarctica thinner and more likely to break apart. As the shelves break apart, they let more ice from the land fall into the ocean. This makes the sea level rise. The planet is literally moaning in pain. Scientists could figure out how an ice shelf is reacting to changing weather conditions by looking at how its snow jacket shakes. Changes in the seismic hum of the ice shelf could also show if cracks are forming in the ice, which could show if the ice shelf is likely to break up. Even though the music of an ice shelf is a frequency humans can't hear, researchers were able to listen to it using seismic sensors. Number 8. Heat and Warm Caves Mmm, warm, steamy cave. Sounds pretty good, no? Well, 
There's a few critters that would agree with us on that. Deep in the ice of Antarctica, in a spot where there's an active volcano, there are huge warm ice caves made by the heat of the volcano. Now scientists think that life could live in these ice caves, or at least that it did in the past. Mount Erebus, which is still active and has a long history of shallow, hot magma chambers, is responsible for these ice caves. The volcano makes steam, which moves through the open areas and melts paths through the network of caves. Scientists have only scratched the surface of what they know about these ice caves. There are huge networks of caves that connect to each other, but no one has ever been inside or studied them. Antarctica has more than a dozen active volcanoes, and all of them have ice caves of different sizes. The next step will be to look at caves more closely and look for living things. If they do, it would be the start of a whole new world, and who knows what kind of freakish snow critters are living in there. Number 7 huge ice fish colony of 60 million nests found on Antarctic seabed. A research team recently found the world's largest known fish breeding area south of the Antarctic Weddell Sea, near the Filchner Ice Shelf. A towed camera system took pictures and videos of thousands of these ice fish nests on the seabed. Based on how many nests were there and how big the whole breeding area was, it seems that about 60 million ice fish were breeding at the time of observation. That's a lot of fish! These results show that a marine protected area ought to be set up in the Atlantic part of the Southern Ocean. In February 2021, researchers were very happy to see so many fish nests on the monitor of the German research ship Polister. Their towed camera system sent live footage from the seafloor of the Antarctic Weddell Sea. 535 to 420 <laughs> meters below the surface, back up to the ship. The longer the mission went, the more excited people got, until they couldn't believe what they were seeing. Just nest after nest after, well, 60 million. A more accurate analysis showed that there was one breeding site for every three square meters, and the team even found up to two active nests per square meter. Number 6. Massive Anomaly Lurks Beneath the Ice in Antarctica Scientists think that the Antarctic ice hides a huge object that could change the way we all think about history. People think that the huge and mysterious anomaly is hiding under the frozen wastelands of Wilkes Land. The area is about 151 miles wide and at least 2,700 feet deep. Some scientists think it's what's left of a really big asteroid that was more than twice as big as the one that killed the dinosaurs off at Chicxulub. If this explanation is correct, it could mean that this killer asteroid caused the Permian-Triassic extinction event which killed up to 70% of the land vertebrates and 96% of the sea creatures on Earth. But the more, shall we say, eccentric folk of the internet have come up with some ideas of their own. Some conspiracy theorists say that it could be a huge UFO base or a doorway to the hollow Earth, a mysterious underworld. This Wilkes Land gravity anomaly was found for the first time in 2006. NASA satellites saw changes in gravity that pointed to a huge object sitting in the middle of a 300-mile-wide impact crater. Other theorists claim that that the Nazis built secret bases in Antarctica that were meant to be used for flying saucers. Were the Nazis in contact with aliens in Antarctica? Does this mean aliens have silly little mustaches? So many questions remain unanswered. Number 5. Killing Field of Mummified Penguins Discovered in Antarctica in Antarctica, explorers found a huge penguin graveyard with hundreds of mummified animals all over. One of the explorers called the place a killing field. When penguins are sad or have just had enough, they often go off alone on a path that will eventually kill them. It would be fascinating to have some kind of a probe follow the penguin to see what happens when it dies and where it goes to. Is it all the same place or different places? However, the fact that this graveyard was found may be proof that all suicidal penguins stick together. I wonder if there's some noble cause, like they have a parasite or a disease that could spread and they section themselves off. Maybe it's something they do automatically when they have a disease that could put the colony in danger, self-sacrificing suicidal penguins. Or if they look at the same frozen mountains every day, they might start to wonder what's beyond. Every day staying with the herd to keep from freezing to death. Always the same meal of fish, always the same seals trying to kill you when you're outside even just for a second. Number 4. Mawson's Huts 
This small group of huts at Cape Denson in Antarctica were built by the Australian explorer Douglas Mawson in the early 1900s. But they've been left alone for decades, so many of the things and decorations from the first expedition are still there. The small research station was built in 1911 and 1914. It's now called the Mawson Huts. It's one of the few outposts left from the so-called heroic era of Antarctic exploration, and the only one that was built by Australians. The Australian Antarctic expedition, which was made up of 17 men, led by Mawson, went to the Commonwealth Bay to make experiments on a variety of topics, such as continental drift, local wildlife, and glaciation. Because of the harsh weather, life in the huts was hard. Even though a radio relay station was set up on a nearby island, it was hard to talk to each other because of the weather. When the group left the site, they left their huts where they were and went on their way. For 20 years, the site just sat there in the cold and wind. They were used for a short time in the 30s, but were abandoned after. Several of the huts were destroyed by the harsh winter, but the main hut and magnetograph house next to it are still standing. They still have some of the original equipment, like the iron stove. Mawson's huts are not easy to get to, but they're still there for any adventurous explorer who wants to visit. They're a protected historic site, so if the weather doesn't destroy them, they should be there for a long time. Number 3. Antarctic Microorganism Scientists in Chile have found genes and bacteria in Antarctica that give them natural resistance to antibiotics and antimicrobials. These bacteria could spread outside of the polar regions if they keep getting stronger. Andres Marcoletta, a researcher from the University of Chile who led the study that was published in March in the Journal of Science of the Total Environment, said that these superpowers that evolve to help the bacteria survive in harsh environments are stored in small pieces of DNA that can easily be pasted onto other bacteria. Researchers found that the Pseudomonas bacteria, which is common in the Antarctic Peninsula, are not dangerous, but they could be a source of resistance genes if they're not stopped by common disinfectants like copper, chlorine, or quaternary ammonium. Oh good, seems like a lot of these things are happening lately. The Antarctic Pandemic, is that what's coming next? Number 2. The Hidden Lake Under the Ice of Antarctica Scientists have found a lake the size of a city hidden deep underwater in the world's largest ice sheet. The lake could help them learn about the ice sheet's history over the past 34 million years. The hidden lake, which is now called Lake Snow Eagle after one of the Chinese plains that found it, is under 3.2 kilometers of ice in the highlands of Princess Elizabeth Lane on the East Antarctic ice sheet. The lake covers an area of 370 square kilometers, which makes it one of the largest subglacial lakes under Antarctica's ice. Polar experts found the lake after three years of careful aerial surveys over the sheet. They use radar and special sensors that can measure tiny changes in the Earth's gravity and magnetic field to look through the sheet. Scientists think that because the buried lake is only a few hundred miles from the edge of the ice sheet, it could have river sediments that are 34 million years old, which is older than the ice sheet itself. If they're correct about the ancient sediments and are able to locate them, scientists could find a treasure trove of information about what Antarctica was like before it froze, how climate change has changed it, and what the future holds for Antarctica in a world that's getting warmer and warmer. Number 1. Allen Hills 84001 on December 27, 1984, a meteorite was found in an ice field near Allen Hills, a rocky outcrop that sticks out of the blue ice in Victoria Land, East Antarctica. Back in the lab, cosmochemical tests showed that the rock came from Mars. Years later, this meteorite, now known as ALH84001, became well known after an article in the journal Science said that there were structures in the rock that could be seen as fossilized life forms. If this is true, it would be the first proof of life on other planets. Planets. After that, Bill Clinton, who was president at the time, made a statement on TV. The scientific community, on the other hand, never really fully agreed with the claim. One point of concern is the possibility of contamination by things from Earth. Another problem is that inferences based on morphology are based on speculation and there isn't enough evidence to be more sure. The people who believe that there is life on other planets did not back down. The 1996 paper has been used as a source more than 2,000 times, and research on ALH84001 is still ongoing today. It's probably the most well-known meteorite of any kind because it's been in the news so much. Decades later, a team of scientists 
scientists found air trapped in ice near Allen Hills that could be up to 2.7 million years old. This news made headlines around the world. The air in the ice that's 2 million years old is mostly the same as the air we breathe today, except that it has 30% less carbon dioxide than the air we breathe now. The driller who made holes in the ice in the field said that drinks tasted so good with this old ice. But there's no scientific evidence to back up this claim either. Still, I'd love a margarita with 2 million year old ice, maybe served in the skull of a fossilized Martian. Is that so much to ask? Do you think Antarctica was once inhabited? What kinds of superpowers could we learn from the amazing creatures that live there? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.